And welcome back to the Your Last Resort podcast with your host, Brandon Lejean. This week is episode 96, and I'm joined by my guest, Mimi Meyer. Thank you for coming on the podcast. Thank you for having me. Of course. You said you wanted to talk about Anne Frank. So <laughs> I did a lot of research I, on Anne Frank. I don't know if you knew this about me, but every moment of the day, I'm just hoping someone will bring her up. Just Yeah, you're just a huge fan. Is it, is it her writing or her lifestyle? Like, what about Anne Frank? Probably her fashion. Her fashion? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be hot. <laughs> well, the thing is, is when I wrote this down in my notes, I just... Dis- Did you I, really do Anne Frank research? Please? Yes, and I googled Anne Frank fun facts. Turns out there's not a lot of fun facts about Anne Frank. <laughs> They're not very fun. <laughs> yeah, but here's ones that I found. Fun fact, her name was actually Annalise, not Anne. It was short for Annalise. Mm. Um, Her diary was actually her 13th birthday gift. That's also kind of sad that her gift was a book, like or like a a diary of all things. A book's different, but a diary. I feel like that's a little bit like, yeah, you should probably, happy birthday, you should write this shit down. Yeah, yeah. You should figure this out. Yeah. (laughs) A 13, every 13 year old girl is like, I would love a diary to write. Like, that's just, do, and diaries, like, did you have a diary growing up? I feel like I've started so many diaries. Yeah. Like, I've, okay, even just like journaling, people are like, you should journal. It's like mm-hmm. good for you. It'll help write you down out. your thoughts. I've started so many journals and I get three pages in, and every page starts with like, this journal's gonna be different. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually gonna follow through. And then, like, two years later, I find the book and I'm like, Oh, fuck. Yeah, why did I? Yeah, it's like the New Year's resolution that you always say you're going to do. And then by the end of the new year, you're like, what oh, yeah. the, was my resolution? I don't even remember at yeah. this point. It's yeah. always uh, to stop saying the C word. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> public. I just blew my T all over myself. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's going to be one of those episodes. I have to do cleanup after. Yeah. Um, I am going to sit cross legged the whole time. No, that's OK. My legs I, will I be numb. Five minutes in. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put you on my back like Yoda and take you down to your car after. It's gonna. Be- no, you have to walk me to my car <laughs> on the drive-in. I saw creatures out oh, there. Oh yeah, it is. It is kind of scary here. There's yeah. a lot of dead animals out in the road. Oh, like sometimes the, they were very much alive. Oh, oh yeah. There's also that. Yeah. yeah, we hear a lot of noises. We're on the third floor though, so we're all right. Oh, I guess I shouldn't. I shouldn't disclose things like that. We're maybe. We're are- on. Who knows what floor one? I'll just bleep that part out anyway. Um. <laughs> This I don't know if this is a fun fact, now that I'm going to say it out loud, but she was in hiding for two years and 35 days. I did not know it was that long. That's a long time. That's, yeah. Um, it, okay, when she was 13. Like, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, Your no, that's... Your mind a, is insane at 13. Yeah. That's well, that's what she, yeah, because they said that she wrote the books till she was 15, and then, like, they got captured, and then... And then what like, happened? I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't want to spoil anything for you. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Wait, I can't go to Anne Frank's live Anne reading. Frank's <laughs> Does she have a podcast? Yeah. <laughs> what platforms can I check out Anne Frank on? Oh God. We're only like four minutes in I and know. there's just no turning back at this What's point. What's your audience like? <laughs> it's actually split pretty even of men and women. So we'll figure out if men and women like uh Anne Frank stuff or my listeners. I don't I can't see their ethnicity if it's German people, they might not like Anne Frank stuff. If it's Jewish people, they maybe they're really maybe. enjoying it. <laughs> We're gonna find out who your fans really yeah. are. <laughs> We're gonna find out next week. Uh, well, and the crazy one of the crazy things I found out too is is that she was born into a German family, like they're all there, but they just practiced Judaism, but they were like generationals of Germans, so. Mm-hmm. That's kind of funny that they, you know. That's pretty silly. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, um, that concludes our Anne Frank segment. I don't, do you have any other fun facts you'd like to share about Anne Frank? Um, a favorite, like, excerpt from her writing or something? No. I favorite do. movie she was in? I favorite don't know. Favorite movie, uh, sh- Get Him to the Greek. <laughs> she was great as Shirley Temple she and all those. So, <laughs> she was so good. Oh my God. That's uh, so fucked. Yeah. Oh, today, this. I have a I have a friend who I work with and him and I like our sense of humor is super mm-hmm. fucked and he was like so he'll just like say crazy things to me yeah. at work just to like throw me off yeah 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 and, he, and today he was like what did you think of Crystal Knocked and I, was, <laughs> and I, I just I had stood there for a minute and I was like 
yeah, like I like I love that band. <laughs> and I was like, bro, I'll sing you an L. Bro, you're a fan of Crystal Knock? Name five of their songs Name right five now. Five <laughs> Crystal Knock songs. That's me. Broken glass, shattered. <laughs> oh no, they're coming. Those sirens are loud. What language is that? Those I are my. <laughs> Breaking glass. I, that's me though in most social situations like yeah i'm always i don't know why i do this i mm-hmm. guess it's because i'm like i don't know i'm i'm the most shy outgoing person yeah uh like people will will talk about a band and i'll talk as if i know the band and i'm yeah. really good at pretending like i know like people yeah are like, oh yeah you remember like when the stones did that thing and i'll be like man that was sick and i'm like you you don't know what's happening yeah you're allowed to not know everything no, I, I don't know why i do that it's so bad i want you to know i haven't done it to you yet but i pretty much do that at once should we have a code with, word if we're in a group just, of people so yeah i'll be like yeah like i love that wes anderson movie pineapple yeah yeah, yeah. we should yeah we should You're like oh maybe you've never yeah. seen it <laughs> I don't like, I'll just move the subject away. Be like, is that the one that, that, with the pineapple on it? You'd be like, what? And be like, never mind. And I'll be like, so guys. Anyone Anne, hungry? You want to hear some fun Anne Frank facts right now? <laughs> Anyone been in Anne Frank's house? <laughs> Anybody been in I, an attic recently? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh man. Um, Wait, this is a this is a total side note, but I want yeah, to yeah, tell you. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 Speaking please. Speaking of, um, okay, so I'm from Pittsburgh. Okay, and yeah. And so like Texas, like critters and creatures i'm yeah. still getting used to that shit yeah of course yeah um and last weekend uh i was doing a few shows in houston <laughs> did i tell you this story no okay so i was doing a few shows in houston and it was like 1 30 in the morning we got back to the airbnb yeah and it was me and two other comics and we were super tired we're like okay we're we're gonna go to sleep mm-hmm. um and I was like, I'm still pretty energetic. I still have like that after show adrenaline. I'm yeah, gonna yeah, it's hard kitchen. to go to sleep. Yeah. Exactly. I was like, I'm gonna go chill in the kitchen. I started reading recently. Nice, I'm nice. Like, Look I'm at you. Ooh, a woman who scholar. reads. What is this? Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna go read. I go into the kitchen and I sit my book down on the dining room table, mm-hmm. and a huge rodent runs by my oh, feet. Oh no. Uh, and that, like, by my feet, real close, and yeah. then goes under the fridge. And I screamed. Oh. And I was like, I, did, I stood there for a moment. I was like, okay, what what do you do now? Yeah. One thirty in the morning, you don't know anybody else in the city. Are you going to, like, what are you going to do, Mimi? Yeah. And I was like, I was like, okay, what, what should I do? I don't know. And I decided, I was like, I would like to go home. <laughs> it's a three-hour drive. Did you drive? I woke up no, the two other comics, no, which they're no. my close friends. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, hey, I just saw this, and they were like, no, it's okay, we're gonna, we can sleep. It's one night. Yeah. And I was like, this rat ran by my feet real close. Like he's okay with people. Yeah, he's. He'll yeah. be trying to spoon. We're me We're staying tonight. with him. Yeah. yeah we're saying this is his <laughs> yeah. house. This animal hadn't like it had like like the dishes were revolving around. Yeah. Like, he had orbit. It was yeah. huge. I was like, this guy is not scared. I've seen Ratatouille, but I'm not okay no, with yeah, this. No, yeah, fuck that. He was not making steaks. I was like, we gotta go. <laughs> so I, I said, I was like, get in the back of the car. I'm gonna drive us the whole way home. Yeah. And we got home at like five in the morning. Jesus, that is. I t- know, I know, but I was so hyped. I also had had a Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> so fair I enough. was like, I want to drive the whole way home. That sounds terrible, though. That just sounds like right I don't right. know. I get you though. The, the funny thing you saying about the rat is that. When I went to Paris recently, it was insane how many like, like how recent? uh in September. Oh, so, so really, really recent. Like during COVID. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like I caught like a sweet period where like COVID died down, and so like all I had to do was just be vaxxed and like show it at places, and I was chilling. And uh, we went to the Eiffel Tower, and like there's just like hundreds of rats running around the Eiffel Tower all the time at night. Like it is just like. <laughs> Like they run in and because there's because there's also just like eighty other people just drinking wine, sitting in front of the Eiffel Tower, eating, hanging out. So like oh, yeah. these rats are just feasting, and there was like big ones, and then like it was literally like ratatouille, like the giant fucking ones. And but they were honestly oh. kind of cute. Like I remember one, I was like, they're kind of cute looking, but they weren't <laughs> near me or anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do they all? Is it true they all wear little berets? Is yeah, that- yeah. It was really it was wild. One like started like haggling me, trying to sell me little keychains and like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> you were like, please. 
please. Yeah, please, stop please, it. Monsieur, <laughs> please. There was um there was a lot of people in the areas that they would sell these like like really tiny like Eiffel Tower metal things and you mm-hmm. know they'd sell you the fo- you know they like gl- they like light up yeah and yeah and, and they would sell them like you know three for four dollars or some shit like that mm-hmm. and you know you say no and they keep it down it's five for three dollars then it's six and like this one guy would this one guy when we walk by he would always just be like you'd be like buy one America you're the best you're number one you need one like I was gonna be like this guy's speaking my language give me fifty of them right now like and then he sees a German guy he's like Germany you guys yeah. are the best yeah. <laughs> yeah so he's like you guys number one and I was like I mean we're not doing too great right now like it's kind of controversial <laughs> like I don't, maybe number two it's hard to like, <laughs> maybe number two you know he's like please stop talking to me like <laughs> I used to uh, I used to to live in Paris yeah. back in the day. Wow. Um, How long did you live there for? I was only there for a few months. Mm-hmm. So I guess I should say I stayed there. I do like No, if you, if you were there. Cooler. No, but if you were there for more than like a week or two, that's living there. You weren't just like. Yeah, like I paid rent in an yeah. apartment. Oh, yeah, um, totally. And I was broke as fuck. So oh, like, that's God, pretty yeah. French, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you oh, just steal God. baguettes and shit from restaurants? Yeah. Well, yeah. here's the thing. I was either like, I was either having elaborate dinners where we were having like three courses in champagne yeah three and like going to see shows or me and my neighbor were literally like okay you have a can of soup and i have two slices of bread what if we make a sandwich and we split it and we split That's the soup wild but like, i know it's crazy but then people would be like oh we're gonna go into the city and mm-hmm. we're gonna go see this burlesque show and we're gonna go have tartare and like do like parfait yeah. and I'd be like yeah well, I want to do all that <laughs> so I'm gonna eat like oh, yeah for a couple of days so I can do that I, that's that's honestly such a cool experience though, to oh, do yeah. that it was cool except when I flew home genuinely I spent my last five dollars on a sandwich in the airport oh, and damn. then I flew home like damn. that was the last of my money <laughs> That's great. how I went down to on like a trip down to Mexico because it's like right near Cal- the California border and stuff. And then we mm-hmm. uh, like it was the same thing, like coming back across the border. I gave like my last dollar to like a child for like a churro. And then and I was like, well, I have zero dollars now. I am just a man walking like and then we got back. Luckily, you know, you get back live with your parents and shit. And they oh, yeah. get. Yeah. But like. That uh, that's a cool experience. Was it part of uh, cause you did the the Disney cruise, right? You were was it part of that when you lived in France or no? No, but they knew that I had done Disney and they they sent me an email. I remember what I was doing. <laughs> okay, so I've done a lot of uh, weird theater jobs because you know, mm-hmm. like in the performing industry, like you'll kind of like do whatever. So yeah, I was yeah. Doing, I was doing a children's show where, um, I was a fake paleontologist, <laughs> uh, and there was a like big animatronic yeah. dinosaur. <laughs> Wait, you love dinosaurs? I love that. I'm so <laughs> excited about this story. Like, I'm rock hard right <laughs> yeah. now. Tell me more. Never been more around. <laughs> <laughs> what? How big was the dinosaur? There was a velociraptor. Oh god. <laughs> a velociraptor. <laughs> so I was a fake paleontologist, and I'd have like the jacket and everything, and I would like talk to kids about like dinosaurs, which it was super funny because like they would ask questions and I'm yeah. like, that's a great question. We're gonna we're gonna answer that later. And then I would never <laughs> answer it because I didn't know fucking anything. Yeah. I, like still smell like vodka from the night before. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um but I was backstage like with this giant dinosaur just like reading my emails. And like it was just like uh, one of those shows that was just like not going great. Yeah. And I got an email that was like, hey, do you want to live in Paris for four months? And I was like Oh my god! And I went yeah. on stage. I was like, "Dinosaurs, dinosaurs, yeah, <laughs> yeah." And then, um, so I did a contract in Paris, and then I uh, did another performing contract right after that. Like, I flew home. I had one day to pack. And wow! They sent me to Kansas City. Jesus, <laughs> so what a different place <laughs> to Kansas City. And in Kansas City, I was doing a Christmas show at a theme park. Yeah, and they had little cabins for us. Oh damn! And so. I, I went from an apartment in Paris yeah. to a literal cabin oh, with no God. stove, yeah. <laughs> nothing. Like, living with a stranger I've never met before. Like, That's some other terrible. girl in the woods. I was a little depressed for a bit. Okay, our local... Okay, so, like, you know, we'd have, like, girls now. Like, we want to get yeah. dressed up and we want to, like, go out to the yeah, bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The closest bar was the Texas Roadhouse. Oh, so God, me, no. Me and the girls... <laughs> 
So what, some guy could like whisper into your ear with his breath smelling like A1 steak sauce and cheap whiskey? <laughs> the guys are like, we want to pick out a steak and yeah. pick out some ladies. <laughs> No wonder you were depressed. That sounds fucking terrible. <laughs> I'm depressed hearing it right now. That's sad. You know Shit. your life is better when someone leaves you their number at a Texas <laughs> You told a story of splitting a sandwich with your neighbor in France, and that sounds way better than going on a girls' night out to a Texas roadhouse. Yeah. I Somehow heard... Applebee's would have been better. I, I don't know how, but it would have been better. That's the only thing was there it was it was bad it was i respect really bad. it i respect it yeah. though. I, I used to live in uh in murray kentucky i went to college there and it's a super mm -hmm. small town and so we had two bars in town and so like it was the same thing where like if those bars were like not happening sometimes we would just go drink at applebee's and it was like not a great time but it was all you could fucking do <laughs> and like you know what i mean what are you doing now? Me and the boys, we're going to the bees. <laughs> we're going to watch the game at the bees. <laughs> it's kind of hated on, but like low-key Applebee's has dollar PBRs all day. And then they do a monthly dollar like margarita drink. So like last, the last time I went, it was a pink lemonade margarita with a Twizzler straw. That's fucking. With a Twizzler straw? Yeah, a dollar. I was getting, I got hammered for like $6. It was fucking awesome. Wow. Yeah, you know, you got to, you know, sometimes you got to be broke and get drunk. Well, bars in Austin, a drink is like $20. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. I don't, I was kind of, it's not as bad to me though, I think, because drinks are like insanely expensive in California. Like, I, I went home. Is that where you're from, from? Yeah, yeah, Orange County, California. So, like, I went home for Christmas and I ordered a Bud Light and it was $8. And I was like, get the fuck out of here. You just made me pay $8 for a fucking Bud Light? Like, because we have two, we have like $2 Lone Stars here. Yeah. You know what I mean? And this is like Fair. four times. I don't know, but it's not like Bud Light is like a nice beer, I guess. I don't know. I, I feel like it's what cheaper. Are you trying to <laughs> what the fuck are you saying? We, <laughs> Jewish my, people aren't listening. Right the now, white people. Like, I'm done. You the Anne Frank stuff wasn't. That was fine. This Bud Light. This is where I draw the line. You don't insult Bud Lisey in front of me, bro. <laughs> Bud Lisey. <laughs> like he's your friend or something. Oh my god. So how long did you work the thing in Kansas? Um, that was just for a Christmas show, so I was okay. only there for a couple months. Okay, yeah. But like that was a really weird contract because um, they you lived in a cabin. Yeah. And then they gave me a car, but then they gave me uh also a bunch of New Yorkers who didn't know how to drive. Oh god. So like if someone needed to go to the grocery store or something. <laughs> I'd be, like, getting texts at weird hours, like, hey, I really need to, like, go to CVS and get some uh, NyQuil. Yeah. And so, like, I was like, mom, I also, I don't know, okay, I understand different people's walks of life and yeah. where people come from, but, like, there's something that irks me about people that won't learn how to drive. Yeah. I'm like, just, just <laughs> learn how to drive. Like, it's it, not, yeah. You don't even have to drive that much, but, like, you should know how to drive, because there was one girl who didn't know how to drive. And I was like, just do it. She's like, yeah, but like, I live near the trains and stuff. I'm like, but what if one day your mom needs to go to the hospital? Yeah, what are you going to do? And like, I don't know, the ambulance. I don't know. I just, I'm just like, learn how to, that's one of my things. No, I get you. We all have a thing. Yeah, I get learn it. Learn how to drive. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah, I get it that you might live by train, but you never like, no one took you aside. Not an uncle, an aunt, your mom, dad, no one showed you how to drive. Also now that we're like. I get when you're like 16, it's kind of scary to drive. Yeah. But if you're like 24 years old, you can learn how to drive now. Like drive. you, it should, I get maybe if you've never driven, the first time might be a little rough, but like you shouldn't. Remember when you first started driving, like you were in a parking lot, like one oh, mile per hour. Oh, we sucked at driving. Dude, that's 16? Yeah. Jesus, none of us should have been driving, no, but fuck we did. No. Yeah, like, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, I was driving at 15 and a half with my permit and shit. Like that's fucking <laughs> that's, terrifying. Okay, that is so young. Yeah, so stupidly young. Only recently have I figured it out. <laughs> I'm almost 27. I backed into a wall the other day. Did yeah. you really? Yeah. Ooh. It was in four. I was really light, though. Like, all it, it did... Was just a little. Yeah, like, I had came really close to the wall, and then, like, someone called, and I answered, and then, like, the car wasn't in drive now, and I took my foot off the brake, and I'm like, boom, and I was like, oops, and then I drove. And, like, Ooh. the side of my bumper, like, bumper, you know, clips onto here, it was, like, a little detached, and then I just went, ugh, and I kicked it, and then it went, and then it was fine, so, you know. It was fine. Yeah, I'm basically fine. a fucking mechanic now. I'm, like, killing it. Yeah, no big deal, you know. <laughs> and then I treated myself to a Bud Light. Yeah. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by... <laughs> I'm 
Bud Light and Anne Frank. Yeah. <laughs> Anne Frank probably had an unquenchable thirst, but you know what would have quenched it? A cold Bud Light. Oh. Get yours now. Yeah, okay. We'll leave Pineapple. Anne Frank alone. Yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> I, uh, okay, I wanted to talk to you, too, about, because you worked on a Disney cruise, correct? Yes. How long did you do that for? I started when I was, um, I started when I was 19, and I did it until, like, right before COVID. Actually, okay. I lied. So, COVID, um, I started hearing about COVID when I was on my last contract. Damn, so I was okay. on a cruise ship and I started hearing about COVID, mm-hmm. which was ironically the literally the worst place you could be. Like yeah. Like small spaces, like cruise ships, no matter how clean they try and keep it, like it's just like kind of gross. Yeah, it's a cruise ship. It's a cruise ship. Yeah. Like it's gross. Um and so we were getting all this news about it. And we, we didn't know that it was that crazy. We were like, okay, whatever, whatever. And then um, there was one day that the captain came over the loudspeaker. Yeah. And we were all just like walking around the ship doing our thing. And when the captain comes on the line or the loudspeaker, it's not like, it's a big deal. Yeah, yeah. He's not just calling to say hi. Yeah, good you morning, know? everyone. Yeah. yeah. What up, y'all? Like, <laughs> y'all see that seagull? Day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> y'all see those dolphins whoa um but he was like yeah so i just want to let you guys know that uh we're gonna be closing down the disney parks and the cruise ships will not be sailing we'll be sailing without guests um after we get to our home port damn and we were all it was it was like a movie it was very yeah. creepy because we're all in this ship in the middle of nowhere yeah like, it's just should we over. all be afraid yeah like an ominous voice that's scary as fuck it was so scary and also like um with disney you're supposed to be super nice to everybody yeah. and guests would ask can you take a picture of my family on my phone and my manager was like don't touch people's phones yeah don't touch anything so like it's so weird because like People paid all this money to be on the cruise. They're trying to take a selfie, like, with Cinderella. They're like, can you take this photo? I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I actually can't. Was, I do not want to touch you. It was really weird. But I got off the ship. Um, I My contract finished March 13th. If okay. If you think back to when everything went down, like, yeah. March 14th was when it went down. I was, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was really bad. My mom picked me up from the airport, and she was crying. And Jesus. she was like, I can't believe you made it home. Like, <laughs> I went to the grocery store, and all the shelves were bare. I was like, what the fuck happened? Mm-hmm. It was crazy. It was no, crazy. it was that was a wild time. How long was, like, a contract that you would normally sign? Um, So. For uh, Disney, at least. For Disney, um, you would train for two months in Toronto. Yeah. And then you would be on the ship for like seven ish months. Damn. So, like, how, like, like, really like you wouldn't leave the ship for seven months, or like, how would it work? Well, so you would be on the ship. Um, you'd be working, and then, like, if you had some free time, you could get off in port. So, like, if I had time, me and my friends would get off the ship in Mexico and go, like, drink margaritas and yeah. eat tacos and, like, swim and, I don't know like hang out and then we get yeah, back yeah, on the yeah. ship and go back to work so it's cool but no that's was, really cool that you yeah. get like to just get off it so you'd be able to explore all the places but would you guys get like like disney would be like all right you have like two or three weeks off go home or was it just like seven continuous months you you worked seven days a week Jeez. for like seven months by oh. the end of a contract i would i don't know it was almost like euphoric yeah like when you put in that much work and that much energy and that much time mm-hmm. when you get off the ship like it's like it's like you have the world at your feet. You're like, yeah. I could go anywhere. And the we would freedom. always take like elaborate vacations after because we so first off, you're on the ship, you, you don't pay for rent, you don't pay yeah. for food, you don't pay for entertainment. Mm-hmm. So when I was nineteen years old, I got off the ship, I had money I didn't even know what to do with. Yeah, I can't imagine. And I flew through it. <laughs> no. Like you no. Can't imagine. So I swear to God, I was no, I was twenty. Mm-hmm. I got off the ship, and me and my friend, like two weeks later, were like, "You want to go to Japan?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Fuck yeah, yeah, dude!" So we went to Japan, and her and I just like, "Oh, we're like, yeah, let's go to Mount Fuji, and let's go to all these restaurants, and let's." Damn. We did 
we did everything. Yeah. And it was cool because, like, I got to take my dream vacation. No, that's a sick – yeah, that's – no, it's – and that's the thing. It's like, yeah, like, I'm sure there's moments now where you're like, I could use some of that money. But, like, oh, yeah. the the experience is so fucking worth it. That's so – Oh, yeah. Was there anything, like – can you think of, like, the dumbest purchase you made? Was there anything that you think of where you're like, why did I buy that? Like, when you had all that mad money or no? Um – or anything you did in Japan that you were like, it was just ridiculous that we did it. It wasn't, it wasn't even like, okay, so I was like early 20s, mm-hmm. dumb, just like spending money like yeah. you believe. And me and my friend, we'd have to like catch each other and be like, what are you doing? So, okay, <laughs> there's one night we were, we were, um, we were staying in Tokyo. Yeah. And first off, my luggage had gotten lost. Oh. And I didn't have like any clothes. And I was yeah. Like, oh, we gotta... It was like a movie montage. I was like, I guess we gotta go <laughs> shopping. <laughs> and so I'm just in Tokyo, just like swiping my credit card. We're buying like onesies. We're buying like all these dresses. We're going to. That's um, awesome. You know, um, uh, do you remember Gwen Stefani and the Harajuku girls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. remember that like that phase or whatever? Yeah. The there's a street in Tokyo where it's like Harajuku. Well, the street is um. That's like the whole vibe. So yeah, yeah. Like, everything is cute. Mm-hmm. And it's like all these boutiques and like all the dresses have like donuts on them <laughs> and like cupcakes. And there's all these cute little like like restaurants and stuff. Yeah. And me and my friend were just spending a fuck ton of money. Oh, and then one night when her and I were like, we should stay in a capsule hotel. Like that sounds so cool. Yeah. And then her and I were like, we literally have a place to sleep. Today. Yeah. Why? Why are we paying for another place to sleep? Like it was crazy. Yeah. It was crazy. But um, I don't know. It was cool. No, that sounds like a lot. <laughs> no, that sounds like a lot of fun. It was very cool. It was also like, um, it was the weirdest place I've ever been. Like every corner, every corner you would turn that would be something where you'd be like what the fuck is it? what's in yeah. that vending machine like what store is this japan and seems so cool it was so cool and it was fun because like no matter where her and i went we were always out of place mm-hmm. but in a fun way yeah like um like it was funny for us like there was one day when her and i were like just walking through the streets of tokyo and we're like why don't we go into like this this porn shop? Like it'd be funny just to <laughs> yeah. go in and just like check it out. And we go in, and I swear, like I felt like in my mind I could hear like the record player be like, because all these Japanese businessmen were like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Two like little white girls, they're just yeah. Like, what? You look like the girls that they're buying the pornos. Yeah, of. Exactly. like they're not. They're yeah. Like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. So like every place we went, like it was always, I don't know, it was just funny because people were. I don't know, because a lot of people going to Japan, it's businessmen mm-hmm. uh, or, like, older rich people who have that kind of money. Yeah. So we would go places and sit down to eat, and people would, like, at a restaurant, people would come up to our table just to, like, say hi. It <laughs> That's was so, so weird. It was so weird, but it was so crazy. Like, we were sitting one day at this um cat cafe, <laughs> as you do. Yeah. And it was funny because, like, they had, like, a little um like cottage for all the cats yeah the cats were like like superstars like there were little magazines on the table like the cats and like the cat profile that's great so fucking funny and this girl came down and sat next to us and she was like oh do you want to be friends like let's be facebook friends like they just wanted to yeah, say hi. Super. It was so weird. It no, was that's so really weird. cool. It was cool. Yeah, it was cool. Because I went. Is not the word. It was. It was odd, but charming. I know what you mean. I went. I went to Korea like right before uh, COVID Korea? started. <laughs> <laughs> yes, North Korea. It was very fun. Um, <laughs> Kim Jong Un does not have a butthole. I tried to find it. It was just smooth down there. It was weird. It was weird. <laughs> but uh, it was the same thing. People like. I mean, you know, they're they're used to visitors, but like I am a really tall, especially for an Asian country, <laughs> slightly tall, yeah. Uh, and people would like kids would be like scared of me because they've never seen like a tall white guy before. How tall are you? Six three, and like yeah, and it's pretty, especially for Korea. Like the average height is like two or three inches shorter there, so like it's like being like six six here, and yeah. so they were just like kids like i remember one kid was running around and he ran into the side of me and he was just like boom <laughs> and his mouth was open and i was like hi and he just like ran the fuck away like he was so scared of me it was <laughs> it was hilarious but it was like i was like he's never 
him and his friends were like, what the fuck is <laughs> Yeah, that? what is that thing? <laughs> Mom? <laughs> I want to go home. I'm scared. You have to bring a person, like, by heights. Yeah. You're like, no, I'm I with look her. More normal, yeah. It's okay. Oh, man. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I'm a little chicken. I, my sister is really tall. She is? How tall is she? She's like six foot. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's yeah. tall for a girl. Damn, yeah. yeah. She's a tall gal. Yeah, so I've met, I've met like, a few girls who are, ta- who are taller than me, and that's always, like, Whoa. Taller than you? Yeah, like, it's only, like, one or two girls, but it was very... I was like, you're, you're scary. Like, my mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my mom's only 5'7". My dad's also 5'7". So, shout out genetics for making what? me tall. Yeah, I don't know. My grandpa's tall, but, like, still, my dad is 5'7". And my wow. mom is also, like, I should be 5'8", at best. And That's funny. Yeah, very That's lucky. Very funny. Yeah, I know. Um, I matched with a guy on Hinge recently who's 6'7". Yeah. Oh. And I, I was like... I can't do it. No, yeah, because how tall are you? <laughs> five foot. Five foot, yeah, okay, yeah. It wouldn't even be like, it wouldn't even be cute. It would be like almost creepy. Well, because think about it, like you saw me and my girlfriend. She's like she's five a, a one. Little cutie too. Yeah, she's how pretty. Okay. She's five one. She's five one. And I'm okay. six three. So like it, it, it's even more drastic than us. And I think it's that that extra like four inch difference is will puts it definitely in that weird range. Yeah. Because you're just going to, like, because we straight up have, like, their shelves that I put stuff on that then no one else in the house ever sees it because I put it on a shelf that only I can reach. Because my roommate's also really small. He's, like, five, six, maybe. So, like, yeah, there's just, like, all our upper shelves are just unused or filled with my stuff because I'm literally the only one who can reach them in the household. Like it's it's fucking stupid. Like, I put, like, I've gotten home and Erica's been like, I couldn't do this thing because, like, I didn't know, like, it was too high for it's me to get to. Yeah, no, is. yeah. Got to get yeah. our step stool for Christmas or some shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> still Christmas in our household. You saw the Christmas tree out there. Tree's still up. <laughs> My roommate really wants us to take Maybe it down. Valentine's yeah. Step yeah. Stool. <laughs> what about moon shoes? Yeah. <laughs> hey, babe. <laughs> Look what I got. She's, you can get this. She runs up, she kisses me, <laughs> just hops down and shit. She just Mario's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sound effects and everything oh my god um you're one of the members of the groon squad and i want you to know i did a bunch of research on groon texas did and i really? and i found a very weird story about groon texas so but no one knows what the groon squad is. no no I, yeah okay yeah. so to explain it we just one day it's were driving not a good story no we were just driving down <laughs> To San Antonio, and we were stuck in like one lane traffic, and there was just this sign that said Groon, Texas, and we became like, like retardedly hyper fixated on this word, and we're just like, Groon, Groon, and we were making up words and all this thing, and how we were like, we were like, I feel so Groon, it makes me feel sad. It a total Groon. Yeah. No, it got to be a weird trip because okay, so before we took that. Yeah what like three four not four hours like three hour was, drive yeah there. um i didn't know you that well no yeah we and like we're in the car and like we're just having a good time and you were like i like have to pee yeah. right now and we were like lol and you're like no, nah for real <laughs> so it's like this new person you're like running down the highway I and then you were like, I can't do it, man. I can't do it. You didn't. No, you did. I did. Okay. Because so like to paint the picture more, the, the way to San Antonio from Austin, there it's a two lane highway. That's normally, you know, f- not full of traffic, but they had shut it down to only like the side road because of construction. So it turned what is like an hour drive into like a three hour drive. And I was, I could see the directions. It still said we had like an hour and a half left. So I was like, I'm not going to be able to hold it. And the first time I went out, I like where I thought I could piss. I was like, every oncoming car can as, see as me. Everyone was there. Yeah. Like this is, the, this is too like p- public. And then when I ended up pissing, I found like some like tall shrubbery and I took a, kn- a knee. Like I was Colin Kaepernick protesting the <laughs> national anthem, pissing in a bush, like shaking because it's cold and i'm like also like kind of like what what am i doing right now like this is ridiculous and then i had that to could have been like a 
wild animal. Yeah, there could have been a wild... Or there could have been, like, a cop two cars behind us that is, like, yeah. public indecency, exposing yourself. Like, I could have just gotten in mad trouble for pissing on the side of a highway. Probably would have been a very different set. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And like you said, we we like were just cordial. Like we were like, I yeah. know your name. Like you're cool. Like nice to meet. And then I was like, Hey, I'm gonna go piss in front of you. Hold the car I real quick. Yeah. I feel like that was a good trip. Yeah. By no. the end, I was like, <laughs> We all have we've you pissed outside. Yeah. We did comedy. Yeah. We ate pancakes at Denny's yeah. at like two in the morning. <laughs> we almost took a, a helicopter trip. there, the almost thirty dollar. There is on if, for if you ever go from Austin to San Antonio, people, there is a thirty dollar helicopter ride. It what in what looks like a yellow Snoopy ass helicopter. Like it looks, it looks like it came from a cartoon. Like they they three oh, yeah. D printed a cartoon into a real helicopter. It's and thirty dollars because you're you're not coming. You're back. gonna die. Yeah. You're gonna die. <laughs> like this thing is no. It would have been so sick if we just choppered in to the fucking this one. <laughs> but we get but we pretend like it's totally chill. Like, yeah. Hey, are we What's like up? for the mic? Yeah. Is this... We good like like car alarms are going here? off and <laughs> shit from the. <laughs> like, isn't it so fun when you do something so cool and you act like it's not cool at all? Yeah. No. Definitely. Oh. Man. So badass, yeah. Oh yeah. I envy people like I'm you. I'm trying to think of any example. That's how uncool I mean. Like if you it get off, happened a lot. You get off. Like, yeah, you gotta get like you get off stage and you kind of like aren't making eye contact with anyone and then people are like, oh great set, great set, and you're like, yeah, yeah, come to me, tell me I'm cool, like, like oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, it's no big deal. Like I know I'm funny, but deep down you're like, I was doing this so I feel cooler. Yeah, give me your attention. I'm cool. <laughs> I am cool. So, um, Grun, Texas. Green is Texas. a um was a German town. They probably did not like Anne Frank. I thought that was like a fun tie together. I wrote that down in the notes. Did not What's like Anne Frank. <laughs> I can't wait. To it was gonna be Grun Squad, but it could be like it could be like the Diary of Anne. I don't know. It may we gotta include it, our girl Anne Frank. You know, yeah. or you know what I can do? Like I put a picture. There's like a pi- a promo picture I make, and I can just. Like put Anne Frank behind us and fade her like really light, so it's just us in front of like a, like Anne Frank. It'll be awesome. People will love it. I'm sure. You know. Uh, yeah. So they. I'm gonna um, start a new diary tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna say this one's gonna be different. People are gonna talk about this one day on a podcast. <laughs> Do you think Anne Frank had a good sense of humor? Do you think she'd find this funny? You think that you think an addict takes the sense of humor out of you? Two years. <laughs> oh my God. Well. Okay, Groon. Groon, Texas. Okay, Groon, Texas. Germ- well, the the word Groon means green. Green. Yes, I did read. Yes, yeah, that is yes. correct. It is. Uh, it's actually not a town. It's part of New Bruns Falls, Texas, but it was like it was New two, Bruns Falls. New Bruns Falls. Is there? I don't know how to say. I don't it. know. I just think that's a weird word. I. It's something like that. New Bruns Falls. I don't know how to say it, but it looks like that. New Bruns. Trust me. Yeah. Man, waffles? What? <laughs> Whatever. I'm making waffles. Um. <laughs> it uh. It was made in 1840. It was a cotton town, which. I didn't on Wikipedia it didn't say anything about slavery, but Cotton Town makes so me was, nervous. In the eighteen yeah, forties, yeah. Cotton Town. Mm, when what what? In 18, Texas. That's because that's still twenty five years before uh, you know the uh, Emancipation Proclamation. So mm-hmm. probably not a good place. And then oh, in nineteen in nineteen uh, fifty, it began to at nineteen fifty de- at nineteen fifty. <laughs> no, in nineteen fifty, it began to decline <laughs> because they got attacked by the. <laughs> Wait. Right. <laughs> at 19 at ni- <laughs> you sound like a nervous kid doing a school project at 1950 Grun- <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna baby vomit on myself <laughs> trying to read about it hey, did Brandon just piss himself <laughs> piss pants piss pants stop it guys mom, mom I pissed my pants come pick me up <laughs> okay at 1950 <laughs> go on the city began to decline because they got attacked by boll weevils, which eat cotton. They're like these little tiny weevils that they're... I'm going to need you to back up. Weevil? Weevil. They're like, they, they're little beetles. 
and their their sole purpose is to eat flowers or cotton that's the only thing that they'll eat and they came from mexico in like the 1930s and just started fucking up crops and in 1950 it ruined it and then by 1970 Ooh. there was only 70 people in the town and then by 1974 or no wait when did it Oh, in 19... No, no. In 1960, it got abandoned. They just straight up abandoned... It was a ghost town for 20 years. And then some, like, nerdy scientist dude was like, we should restore it. And then, like, funded. And then now it's, like, a tourist attraction. Here was the really cool... So what you're telling me is one day we got to do a trip. Oh, they have a restaurant that's, like... Haunted? Built inside an old cotton gin. I probably huh? I'm not I'm not yeah, but it looks really elegant and fancy. We should definitely go. We gotta get the Groon gang together. Yeah, the Groon Squad, yeah, roll down there. We do a ghost tour. And then we ride the helicopter and, and become <laughs> ghosts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Full circle. And we live forever. Yay, in ghost and groon. Yay. <laughs> well, I just wanna get caught by the Ghostbusters or Luigi from Luigi's Mansion is how I wanna go out as ghost. Ooh. I don't want to get caught by the stupid, uh, who, what's that dumb show? Ghost Finders or some shit? Ghost Hunters. Ghost Hunters, yeah. Fuck them. Yeah, I don't, I don't fuck with that shit. I don't believe in ghosts. I used to live, um, you don't believe in ghosts? No. What, what if I have a story? I'll listen. I just don't believe in ghosts. Okay. Let, okay. I'm waiting for one to, here, it's a kind of an old running thing. Like, probably about 50 episodes ago, I declared on here that I don't believe in ghosts. And I asked all the ghosts who could hear me to prove it to me and scare me. To show me that there are ghosts and it hasn't happened Nothing's yet. Nothing's happened yet? No, and I'm kind of pissed because, like, if there are ghosts and they're just not telling me, that's honestly... I would kind of respect ghosts more if they're like, he doesn't believe. Like, let's just not fucking tell him. And they're just like, they're like you know what? jerking off guy. space come on me and you know, ghosts come on me and shit. Like, it's just all over my face. Like, look at, look at him. He's doing a podcast with <laughs> come on his face. <laughs> uh, he's so dumb. <laughs> believe this, bitch. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, can yes. I tell you a story? Yes. I okay, want, this yes. is 100% true. Okay, I'll take and I'll listen. Okay. I, I won't be an ass. And I want to hear your honest take mm -hmm. after, okay. after I finish this story. Yes. So when I did my first Disney Cruise Line contract, yeah. um, they give you an apartment in Toronto. Uh-huh. And so I was living in this apartment, and you would have three roommates, so there was four girls total. Four girls are like, I don't know if you were a dude, four dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I had just gotten to Toronto, just met these new people. I was yeah. excited about it. Um, and there was one day I was by myself in my apartment and I was sitting in my closet folding laundry. Mm -hmm. um, I had a walk-in closet, not to brag, <laughs> Disney. I have a walk-in closet Mickey here. Mickey has money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was in the walk-in closet <laughs> folding laundry and I saw what looked like um if a woman was wearing a really long dress if she was walking really quickly like the dress like flowing behind her yeah um and i saw just like the 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 back of the dress and i even saw like little flowers on this yeah. dress like i saw it so clearly and i sat there for a minute and i was like do i get up like what do i do mm -hmm. and it was like a scene from a movie and because whatever it had been, it walked into my bathroom. Yeah. And so I, like, I did the whole, like, like, huh, like, look into the bathroom. Nothing there. Yeah. And I didn't tell any of my roommates this because they had just met me and I didn't want to sound crazy. Yeah. So I told nobody. Mm -hmm. Now, cut to a couple weeks later, me and a couple of my roommates are in the living room watching TV. And it was just... It was just three of us. The other girl was at work. Mm -hmm. She had like a rehearsal or something, so she wasn't there. And one of my roommates is looking down the hallway, and she has this weird look on her face. And I was like, Abby, what's up? She's like, you know what's so weird? I just saw McKenna walk into your room, and she's wearing a really long white dress. Oh. And I hadn't said anything to anybody, and McKenna was the one at work. Everyone who was in the apartment was in the living room with me. Damn. And I was like, hey, I have to tell you something. Yeah. I saw something a couple weeks ago. So ever since then, I'm like, I don't know what that was, if it's like leftover energy or whatever, but I saw something and she saw the exact same thing. So Damn. I don't know. I, don't I mean, know. that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't have like evidence to dispute it. I just haven't experienced it. You know, anything like that. What scares you? 
everything. Like, okay, and, so and I know that sounds. You're scared of ghosts, but you're scared of like real shit. Like I can't, like I'm, I can't watch scary movies that because they'll keep me up for days. Like I, like, and when I say scary movies, like, like the movie Us, still scares me. Like Ooh. I've, I've only seen like Insidious and like Mama and like one other scary movie, and then I was just like, nah, like never again. They, they, they're so they scare me so much that sometimes I'll read the plots of them because I can't watch them, and then I'll get scared by the plot. And like, really, I can't like I saw the movie Candyman, and I slept with my bathroom door closed for like three weeks because I didn't want to see mirrors because I was worried that like middle of the night. I, Is that the thing? Yeah, it's like know, yeah, it's like it's like, like uh, 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 it's like Bloody Mary where if you say their name enough times in a mirror they appear. That was like his thing. And so, like, I would be worried that one night I would just, like, roll over and, like, catch the crack of the mirror through the bathroom and be, like, his face. And then I would never... Did he have a really creepy face? Yeah, yeah, because he's, like, mur like yeah, it's, like, a murder victim type thing. And so, Ooh. I just get... I get scared by shit really easily. I'm scared of... Like, if I watch a movie... Which, this is fucked up. If I watch a movie about a murderer, like, something that could actually happen doesn't phase me but if it's about like ghosts or like creatures or something have you ever seen the movie sinister no but i know what it's about i actually got mad at my ex-boyfriend because we watched that movie together and he yeah. didn't stay that night and i was like fuck you you're gonna Ugh. make me watch this movie and you're not gonna stay tonight like i was really yeah. mad no i just can't they just I they terrify it. me and i think that's the thing i like i i don't i say i don't believe in ghosts and it's like it's not that i'm like they can't be real. I'm not, a, I'm not like, I don't not believe in the concept. I, I understand the idea of like the leftover energy that it's just that like, I've ne like, because I've never experienced anything remotely like it. And, I, yeah. and everyone has stories, but it's like, it hasn't happened. It's like, I don't know. I just would hope like, it wouldn't scare me. Like if it was, cause if it was like a nice ghost or like, yeah. It'd be the scary ghost, and that's the like thing. A sexy ghost. A sexy ghost. <laughs> like you see, scary movie where the, where the girl gets fucked by the ghost. She's like <laughs> on the roof and shit, getting thrown around. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that'd be wild. <laughs> oh. You're just laying there, and you're like getting suffocated because the ghost just sits on your face while you're trying to go to bed. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> just hear the whisper of like, lick it, and I'll get off. You're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's like i'm at frank <laughs> all right oh um, man pineapple 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 uh, yeah yeah i uh, i'd want the ghost to be friendly if the ghost because that's how like so like us uh, super scared of it like because the whole concept is there's like an evil half of you that comes to kill you and literally like how i watch a scary movie and get over it is that i accept death and i go if that us person's coming for me, if the spirit from mama, if Freddy Krueger's coming for me, I'm gonna die and there's nothing I can do. You know, I'm, there's nothing I can do. If a spirit is gonna come and kill me, I am gonna die. So it is what it is. And that's how I fall asleep at night. And <laughs> I don't like the way you looked at me. You lo I saw you lose respect. No, I just think that's like, <laughs> I hope you say it out loud. You're laying next to your girlfriend. You're like, I am gonna die. I am, she's like, she's what, like the what the fuck? Is <laughs> if a spirit yeah. comes to get me, if this sexy ghost is trying to fuck me, I'm gonna let it happen. Yeah, she just laughs at me. She's like, you just have to logic your way out of everything. I'm like, if it doesn't make sense to me, it scares me. So like, I just have to think it through. Yeah. And yeah. Were you like a scared little kid? Yeah, I think so. I was very like, I was very like nerdy, weird, goofy kid until like sixth grade. And then I grew eight inches over and I, summer. And then I was like, I like football, pick things up, sports, sports, sports. sports. I got had no choice. You looked mirror one day and you were like, sports. Well, just all of a sudden the sports kids were like, you look like you could sports, come sports with us. And I was like, sports. And then, yeah, and then that wow. never went away. Yeah. That never happened. <laughs> Like you look weird, and then ten years later, sing, like, sing, still look weird. get on the cruise <laughs> like, ship. Can you tap dance. <laughs> I was like, okay. Uh, oh, here's the great story that I learned about Grun, though, and I have to pick this up because I need to read it because it's an excerpt from the story. At 1950, <laughs> the town manager had lived in a little house in front of Grist Mill. This is like a, the famous, a famous story from Grun, Texas. 
The town manager had lived in a little house in front of the grist mill and was so distraught over the enormous loss of the Groon family money that he climbed on top of the water tower, tied a rope around his neck, and on the other end of the tower and jumped off. And then his wife found him the next day when she went to the kitchen and looked out the window fixing breakfast and saw him swinging. Oh, my God. Yeah, isn't that exciting? We got to go now. He's definitely going to haunt us. Oh, my God. You might see your first ghost. Yeah, that'd be sick. I, what if he's, ghost just, game. he's just swinging there still? Big shirts. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> No one ever got him down. He's just, I also That's so freaky. No, yeah, that was really. I was really excited that that it, I found that out because <laughs> like otherwise it's like who gives a fuck about Groom, Texas? You know what I mean? I also found out that there's a bar like the there's a bar we can go to that like back in the day it used to ho- like host you know uh, prohibition drinking, but the biggest thing that they had was they'd have badger fights there. What? They'd have live badgers fight each other and people would get drunk and just bet on it like for the whole the whole time that's literally what they would do oh my god i feel like what would the what would the merch of groon texas be it's just like some guy like yeah. hanging from a water tower like it's just like two badgers <laughs> like punching each other they should make a chain where it looks like a guy's hanging groon t- <laughs> it's two badgers just like <laughs> no it's two badgers like you could have, yeah, you could have, you could have, like, you'll be like, you could have the guy hanging and be like, get hung on Groon, Texas. You'll never leave. Or like, um. Don't, don't badger me in yeah. Groon. Leaving Groon, Texas feels like being in a badger fight. And then we just have two badgers killing each other. Oh my God. Badger or Davy Crockett hats? Yes. Yes. We're, we're going to, we should buy Groon, Texas. I want to buy Groon, Texas. And then when all our fortune goes away, I'll hang myself in the water tower. Oh my God, yes. And I'll be a ghost with Anne Frank and, and the Groom I'll guy. And I'll raise money for you. Yes. Through badger fights. <laughs> <laughs> That's or how I'll I pay the funeral cost. Thirty dollar helicopter rides. I have no train. <laughs> Oh, God. oh that's hilarious fuck yeah we gotta go to Groon, texas this sounds really fun we gotta go i love a random field trip yeah nothing gets me going more no it would be oh it, yeah it would be so fun to be like okay we're doing the blind tiger on a friday like let's go let's leave at like 3 p.m and we'll hit Groon. we'll what like if we have go to Groon and we're like i never want to leave <laughs> what if we start a show in Groon, texas we d- we i don't know we get there and we're like Oh, everything makes sense here. <laughs> just never leave like, it's like no one ever hears from us again there's missing people's report and that was the last time we were <laughs> it's like everything's black and white we step into yeah. groom and everything's in color, color just lit what the fuck? <laughs> like we're in the giver or some shit and <laughs> it'd be fucking ridiculous okay great book yeah pretty real i had to read it in like fifth grade why Maybe let me wait a few years. Feels like a, a yeah, weird it's book. Yeah, dark. Yeah, for... it was an elementary school book, which it's like, why yeah. did you decide? You're like, this is the one. This will teach them. Yeah. We um we had to read this other book. Do you have to read Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry? No. It's basically like a 400-page book that has like the N-word every page. <laughs> and it's like, it's about like a black family that lives in Mississippi, like right after like segregation and shit ends. And they're just, or like right after the Emancipation Proclamation. So like... Mm-hmm. People just like burn crosses in their yard and there's like, it's just a, it's like a, it's like a book that it's like, why did you make sixth graders read this book? Like, you know what else we read in sixth grade? What? Diary of a Young <laughs> Frank. <laughs> well, of course, how could I forget such a classic? It all comes a cold, full circle. If you look at, uh, if you look at famous book sales, it's the Bible and then Anne Frank's diary right at number it two. Yeah. Yeah. Real close. They just don't have the German market. Is- yeah. Mein Kampf. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where you were going with it. I don't know. I was trying to. Think and after the third, this one, I was like, "She wants me to say something. Say something, brain." And he said, "Mein Kampf." So that's what <laughs> we're going with. Jesus. Oh shit. Okay, actually, it is goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look under the bed. You you remember those interactive goosebumps where you could read them? Oh, I didn't them? read that shit. You didn't. I was scared. I was, I was what if they had one where it was Anne Frank and you was like, do you oh, go in? I would have read it. <laughs> do you twice. go? <laughs> oh, no. You know, you flip this page. Oh, no. You lost. The Gestapo got you. Game over. Try again. Start at page one. You're like, oh, Now shut. find the toaster in the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Uh, uh, we're gonna wrap this podcast we up with should. some. Uh, it gets worse. Would you rather? Is you ready for them? Oh yeah. Yeah, we okay. got it. All right. Would you rather have Guy Fieri's hair or Dog the Bounty Hunter's hair? Do you know what Dog the Bounty Hunter's hair looks like? I have a picture of it. If this not, is yeah, but it's like the. Uh, let me pull up the the big image of it here. It's like, yeah, it's like this mullet. If you guys are watching it, it'll be photoshopped in. That hair, or and you know, did guy you say Fieri. Guy Fieri? Guy Ferrari. How do you want me to say it? Gay Fieri. <laughs> Gay. <Huh? laughs> I think it's Fieri. So yeah, well, my I'm not. Obsessed, obsessed no, I. Hey, here's the thing. When I wrote it down, I was like, because he's like a guest on a podcast I like a lot, and I'd heard him been like it's Fieri, and I was like, I'm gonna look like an asshole if I say it, so I was just gonna say Fieri, but you know, I'll say. Fieri. And then I called you out. Yeah, so I got to fucking... So you're like, fuck mm, it. So Fieri, now, now I don't I'm going to delete this manja, episode. Manja. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'd probably go with... Uh, I'd probably go with Guy. Because, like, bleach blonde. You yeah. Know, I wear a red lip. I feel like it could be could be a thing. I'm going to be honest. This is a fun question because I think that both of them would not look great on you. And I don't mean that in a mean what way. I just... <laughs> the First fu- Bud Light, the, now this? <laughs> the fuck did you just what say to me? What the fuck did you just say Hope you we have to never live. talk again. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to Groon. I'm going to Don't Groon you because dare I don't follow be happy. <laughs> I'm gonna go follow my dreams of Groon. We should write like we should write like a two hour and thirty minute like epic love novel movie that just takes place oh, yeah. only in Groon, Texas. Yeah. And we just and it ends with Licorice the guy Pizza Who? Yeah, it ends with the guy We're hanging going. himself in the water tower. <gasps> and and then the wife dies in a badger fight. Oh my Some God. real Montague Capulet type shit, but redneck, you know? Yes. Yeah. Prohibition. Prohibition. Giggle water. The bee's Dude. knees. Yeah. I'm just saying things now. <laughs> the bourgeoisie. <laughs> Helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be all in black and white, and then it ends with like big Vietnam style explosions as they chop her off in the thirty dollar Snoopy yellow helicopter. Yes. And now they're and it's all in black and white the explosions too, but the helicopter's in yellow. Do you poetic think get as Wes Anderson? Oh, definitely. Okay, yeah. Easy. He's probably not that busy. No, he, he would do. Really cool. He would love it. He's cool. love it. We could do the whole movie in claymation too if we want. Just yeah, make it like a hard, nine right? year project. <laughs> that's not hard. <laughs> I think I would go with Guy Fieri, Fieri's hair too because uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter just looks like uh, he looks like an asshole. If we're being honest, I know yeah. Dog. If you're listening to this, also like um, Guy's such a he's a great Guy's a great guy. Guy probably gets hoes. He's like a pretty silly goose. Yeah, he has Old big guy. silly goose vibes for sure. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I'm going to go with you with Guy Fieri's hair too. Okay. Yes. Here we go. Uh, this one is from Reddit. Would you Would you rather have constipation or diarrhea? Diarrhea. Diarrhea? Yeah. Yeah, constipation. I don't, I don't know if I've ever been constipated, if I'm going to be really? honest. I just always have to shit. Like. I wish I could feel what constipation felt like. <laughs> you ever have a day where it's like your fourth time and it's noon and you're like, damn, I, hope, I wish I, I was going. I someone gone. like does look, they tune into the podcast right now. <laughs> the I fuck wish is I that? <laughs> Well, there's definitely going to be someone who like tunes in because they're a fan of you and they're going to be introduced to me and they're going to be like, what the fuck is It'll wrong with It'll probably be my guy? mom and my mom will be like, you talk about Anne Frank a lot. <laughs> Mimi, I want you to never go me to this. your sister worry. <laughs> <laughs> Never speak to this man again. Please do not go to Groon with him. Do Sounds like he's going to murder not, you there. <laughs> do not go to Groon. <laughs> what was he so obsessed with that place? And then Brandon said, you don't get it, Groon. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the ring from Lord of the Rings. We're just like, I need to go to Groon now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to Groon every day, every day that I'm not in Groon, my heart ye- yearns for it. Dear diary. <laughs> next podcast episode i'm gonna write a poem about groon and i want you to read it. the next podcast like, we're doing oh, it live from groon, groon yeah. poetry oh god oh, what god. a time what a time to be in groon so yeah you're gonna go with diarrhea oh yeah or let's see what people said on reddit yeah it's about uh uh like 70 percent would say diarrhea i feel that yeah. Hey, this one I wrote, would you rather want to always feel like you have to pee or always feel like you have to sneeze? So like that feeling of like, imagine like when I'm in the car and you're like, oh my God, I got to go pee, but you don't. Okay, sneeze, sneeze. Sneeze, but you're always like, 
like that feeling in like your forehead almost like the top of your nose all the time you, I'll, you, I'll take that yeah as I, a woman i always have to pee already <laughs> i guess that's me fair. going to bed i have to go to i have to go to bed like three times because you i'll keep, lay down i'll be like gotta pee gotta pee yeah it's like your body also i listen to the sounds of rain while I mean, i sounds so do i do listen to sounds i of swear rain? to god yeah i found a youtube video it's 10 hours of uninterrupted <laughs> youtube rain. video I have an app where I customize the sound of rain to thunder and get on my fucking level, Mimi. You know? What's the app called? I'm a little. It's called. <laughs> Bitch. Fuck you. I hope there's ads in the middle of your rain sounds tonight, bitch. Enjoy that shit. I'm having like the best sleep ever. I'm just like, and they're like, Blue Chew is so good. Your dick will be so hard. Nah, because all, like, my, my girlfriend doesn't have the app, but I'll try and, like, turn on rain sounds for sometimes in the morning and I'll go on YouTube and I'll click on like a 10 hour one and I click on it and like it's dead side in the room and it's just like it's just like have you thought about better help and improving your mental health and I'm like why are you screaming like, please stop and then it's all you should go like mm, turn it off and I'm like I'm trying to do something nice I'm god damn it you it's always a fucking double ad to it's six in the morning Ooh. It's like, it's like better help. And then it's like stamps.com. <laughs> you don't send mail anymore, but stamps.com. You're like, if you give me one more ad, I'm going to mail you my suicide note with stamps.com. <laughs> Shut this shit Squarespace, up. Squarespace, I will kill <laughs> yeah. you. Oh I will shoot up your entire headquarters if you don't stop. Oh my God. That sounds too much of like a threat from me. You know, I got school yeah. shooter vibes. I get it. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared if I, right now. <laughs> I am terrified. Mom, come pick me up. Mom, I'm scared. <laughs> um, no, but uh, thank you for having me on your pod. This is yeah. great. I love podcasts because I don't know if you caught this about me, but mm -hmm. I love talking. No, you're a great it's guest. It's one of my this favorite things to do. Yeah, no. When we were driving back from San Antonio, I was like, guys, I got to work at 8 a.m. So, like, I'm going to go to sleep for a little bit in the car. Like, don't try and talk to me. <laughs> and everyone was like, Mimi, you're not going to shut the <laughs> fuck up. And I was like, You're like, this is right. the fifth time you've told us this. Can you be quiet? I'm like, can you guys stop talking? They're like, Mimi, you keep bringing up things. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. You did put on headphones on an iMac. You look like you were at a silent disco. It was fucking sick. You just dropped off but, in your but own But you know one. what I put in my headphones on the Rain sounds? The sounds yeah, of rain. hell yeah. My roommate Ten will be like. <laughs> hours. Uninterrupted. Rain. My roommate's been like, bro, why does it sound like a fucking tropical rainforest coming from your room every morning? And I'm like, I'm a light sleeper, bro. Yeah. We also have these really fun neighbors that like to commit acts of domestic violence on each other quite often. And like sometimes what's it called when like parents are yelling at their kids and it gets loud because they're slamming doors and breaking shit. What do you mean? What's that called? Whatever that fun interaction is happens quite often next door. Sadness? It, the sadness likes to knock picture frames off my wall oh my at God. three in the morning. Have you called the cops on them? No, because I mind my own. It's, I feel like I, it's this weird thing where like, because here's the thing, Mimi. At first, the first time I was like, I should. And my girlfriend was like, don't call the cops. So I was like, okay. So I didn't. And then I started feeling bad because I was like, what if I'm just listening to this guy beat the shit out of his wife? But now we're like nine times in and the cops come every time. And I feel like at this point, if it was that, because here's the thing, I yeah. come from a family where my parents would have screaming matches like that with my sisters. My sister was crazy. She still is crazy. I love her, but she gets wild. And they would, and like, they would have things where it's probably sounded like that. And my, and our neighbors across the street, same thing, big family. You know, in the front, I hate you. You're the worst mother in the world. Why well, I hate you. You know, shit like that. And we, we had a rule. We don't call the cops on each other. That's just family shit. So I don't, because right. it's a family that lives in the store. There's kids. They got a dog. Like, they got a pit bull. I feel like if there was domestic violence going on, this pit bull would have stepped in uh, probably. <laughs> would have stepped <laughs> in. Or he's a bad pit bull. Like, let me get in there. Yo, you don't fucking don't touch fucking my dogs like there. that, I don't know why bro. he's from New York. Yeah. <laughs> Like, wow. <laughs> just bullwinkle and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Spider. <Don't talk> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Give you the old fucking right there, the Fred. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so scary. Yeah. So um, no, I have not called the cops because, but I called the cops once on a neighbor because I heard an, inter an interview. I heard a thing. <laughs> I was supposed to say I heard an article. Yeah. I heard this story where this woman got murdered. But everyone in the apartment complex heard it, but they thought that someone else had called. And it was like I the have whole like, group. And I felt that I sat yeah. up for about an hour being like, 
did I just get this bitch murdered next door to me? Like, and you, you were like, I'm gonna need a lot is of this rain sound. And then you put on rain. <laughs> we were on the exact same page. <laughs> do you ever switch it up and do ocean waves? You ever get crazy? Uh, sometimes, but sometimes they have like rain, sometimes man. they put seagull Good. sounds in, and I'm like, I'm sleeping. Oh, no. Stop it! Like it's Ew. like. Whoosh, and I'm like, yo, what? Like, who is sleeping to this? You <laughs> fucking psychotic. There's okay. So I remember, like, back in the day on the yeah. alarm clock, they had like different like sounds mm-hmm. that you could put on. Yeah, yeah. And they had like, um, the rain, ocean waves, and then they had a heartbeat, <laughs> and then they had white noise. The white noise like, one scares me. White noise is a there's like city a scary noise. Movie. Yeah. They have that one where it's just like, I was walking in the mall the other night. And you're like, what is wrong with you? Like, I'm not you're... Gonna lie, that was a really good impression. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Watch the tape back. You're going to yeah. see my face be like, <laughs> look at him go. <laughs> if you ever, hey, if your YouTube's ever not loading, give me a call and I'll and put it on speaker and I'll go and I'll make noises for you, whatever you want, you know? That's gonna be that's gonna that's how I'm gonna make ASMR. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna make money is I'm gonna be a voice actor for the biggest rain and city sound staying in all of the world. In <laughs> all of Groon. Yeah. <laughs> God, we gotta go there. If I don't go there in the next year, I might I might kill myself out of depression. I will, it sounds like the promised you'll hang land. Yourself on a water tank. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, all right, we gotta do the last would you rather and then we're okay. gonna wrap up. Um okay. Would you rather, which holiday would you rather have a whole month of Halloween, Thanksgiving, or Christmas? I guess if you live here, you already are doing Christmas, but um, which one, which holiday would you prefer a whole month of? Like the festive celebrating? Um, Christmas, for sure. Christmas has got to be there. Well, because. Thanksgiving all the time? <laughs> Just what are we 500 even? pounds. What are we. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like parades already that oh, much God, to begin yeah. with. I feel like a parade is just us pretending to have fun. Like, oh, look. There's so many activities that's just us pretending to have yeah. fun. Have, there, have you ever heard Mitch Hedberg's? Do you know who Mitch Hedberg is? Like the one? Yes. Like, yeah. Have you heard his parade bit where yeah. he's just like, he's like, he's like, if you're at a parade and you miss some stuff, just run backwards in the other direction and it will rewind itself. And he's like, and if it's getting boring, just sprint really fast in the other direction. Okay, play. You're over. And then it's, I was like, it's just like, so like rant, like he's so weird, but I was like, yeah, I guess if you do just run in the opposite direction of a fucking float or what a, a parade, I forgot the word. I've said now like nine different words. There's a play, a parade, a float. <laughs> I, I don't said know. Play and it threw me off. Yeah, I could see it. I was like, ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. This one was on Reddit. I have to assume that I'm going to be disappointed if it's not like, cause that has 5,000 votes. If they're not all Christmas. Yeah, well, Halloween came pretty close. It was 2.8 for Christmas. See, Halloween, I feel like this month for me lasted for a month because I had many different costumes. Because yeah. I discovered a store in Austin, Texas mm-hmm. called Lucy in Disguise. Have you heard yeah. of it? No. Uh, okay, one day you have to go in. This place, it's a huge, a huge costume shop yeah. where you can rent and you can buy oh, costumes. Oh, that's really And cool. like vintage clothes. Any costume you want. That's sick. I went in with my friend and Decent her. prices, too, for renting one? Yeah. Well, okay, so me and my friend, we dress up like flight attendants, and yeah. we had the matching boots. I feel like I like, saw photos. You guys looked legit. We yeah. looked legit. I've never felt so cool going <laughs> yeah. into a party. Like, our costumes were on it. Yeah. And, like, this place is so cool. Any costume you want, you go in, yeah. and there's, like, you could be Pikachu. You could be a cowboy. You could be a That's pilot. Sick. You could be whatever the fuck. And, like, it's the coolest place. That'd be really cool, especially. You have to go. No, so I want to check it out, especially next. You know, next Halloween, we'll be on a bunch of like Halloween shows, and it's like you can oh, yeah. go dressed as different things. To oh eat. yeah, that's really cool. That's really you cool. can you can get uh like any costume you want, and then also they have like, like uh me and my two <laughs> friends, we went to the Renaissance Festival yeah. this year. We got like crowns. Oh, they have like that's sick. capes. I they think have... where's the Renaissance Festival at? Um, it's like an hour and a half away from here okay i highly recommend i no, probably had the fun. best day no, we, so- we ate turkey legs we watched the joust oh, yeah we met a bunch of crazy people yeah oh it was fucking dope oh i gotta go that sounds like yeah. a lot of fun we should get an austin comedy renaissance group to go oh yeah and, and everyone run would- around you yell huzzah like you're just like it's just like i want to be a wizard i want to go as gandalf i'd be a good wizard i'm tall and lanky You'd wizards be a great are great wizard thank you 
Okay, sure. So the real reason I brought you on here was uh, to have you tell me I'd be a great wizard. You would be a great wizard. <laughs> Thank you. That'll that'll keep me from jumping and off the water tower the tonight. Spell. <laughs> <laughs> and Groon, Texas was free forever and color returns to the valley. The bull weevils were gone. <laughs> Badgers fought once again. <laughs> oh, oh shit. This is a fun episode. Yeah, we said this is some, really fun. some probably crazy things that people yeah. might not be a fan of, but not our problem. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Three years from now, they're like, hey, you maybe shouldn't have. All right. What is Anne Frank going to be upset with us? Is she going <laughs> to. She's going to write about it. <laughs> Anne Frank 2. Lost <laughs> <laughs> Anne Frank 3, the parent trap. <laughs> Going All right. Through. Well, you uh. All right. Well, you want to uh plug your Instagram and any shows coming up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my Instagram is uh the Mimi Meyer. Yep, Meyer follow with her with an I. Follow yes. me. It'll be fun. <laughs> um, and then also I, uh, starting February seventeenth, I will be running a, uh, storytelling comedy show awesome. at Buzzmel East. Ooh, Austin, that's Texas. exciting. Yeah, I'm excited. The first one's going to be February 17th. That's really I have exciting. A really great lineup. I think it's going to be super fun. Hell yeah. Um, plus, like, it'll be a storytelling show, and mm-hmm. a lot of the comics, um, I've heard their stand up sets, but some of the stories I haven't even heard before. Yeah, so, I know. Yeah. I think it's going to be a really cool show, and it'll be every third Thursday of the month. So. Oh, that's really yeah, awesome. Plus, it's a free show. And if no, you're yeah. like, on a date, or you're just, I don't know, like, you're bored or bored. Buzzmill used to sick, too. Or if you want to see grown women dressed as Girl <laughs> Scouts, you might yeah. see that. I don't know. I like it. I like it. It'll be great. No, hell yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, guys, uh, I have a show next week at, uh, at Anne Frank's house, and then I'll be performing. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. Sorry, mom. So, by the time this comes out, um, I'll have done all the shows I was going to do next week. So you can't see me if you're seeing this, but uh, <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah, I have shows on on uh, t- Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and this comes out Wednesday. So if you are watching this when it comes out Wednesday, I'll be in San Antonio at Upstage Comedy Lounge. Come oh. see me there. And then, yeah, other than that, guys, thank you for listening. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe, all that. If this is your first time listening or your 96th time listening, I appreciate you. And most importantly, thank you for letting us be your last resort. See ya. This has been a Your Last Resort production.